Next stop, Murphy's Lake. Oh no, the cops! It's the fucking pigs! Whoop, whoop! It's the sound of the police! Whoop, whoop! That's the sound of the beast! Okay, we gotta run. Yo, check it, so your buster ass trying to get into the slanging business, right? But you ain't never even spent one single day in the streets, son. So you come over here saying, yo, I want to get into the dope game. Well, I got... <laughs> Oh, who am I kidding here? I'm not fooling anybody with this bullshit Falcon ghetto hard-ass act, but welcome to the Falcon one-shot everybody We are indeed checking out the dope game however, and um, as you could probably imagine this game is about slanging drugs and all sorts of other legal act illegal activities, I should say. Um, when I first heard about this game, I instantly thought about Basement. Now Basement is a Sim Tycoon game about building up a drug empire, which I really do enjoy the game a lot, mind you. So when I heard about Dope Game, I thought it was something along that same line, but it's really a lot different, honestly. Uh, the Dope Game is more of a... Adventure? Visual novel game, I guess, with a little bit of an RPG mechanic, because you could upgrade your equipment, which happens to be bigger bags, so you could hold more marijuana, more cocaine, heroin. There's a lot of drugs in this game, mind you. Some of them I don't even recognize, to be honest with you. You could buy guns, you get into combat with other people in like a turn-based RPG fashion, kind of like Undertale or Earthbound or whatever. It's really interesting, I gotta tell you that much. But um, instead of talking more about it, let's get into the game and show you what it's all about. So let's go into play. And let's see here. Essentially, what I understand is you borrow $2,000 from Sweaty Mike. Let's see, buy a car, I think. To get that kind of cash, I'm gonna start slanging around Starkham. So yeah, you're trying to buy a car, so I guess you can get a job like any other normal human being, so instead you're gonna sell drugs. So your idea is to get a loan from Sweaty Mike to buy drugs, and then you can slang them, and you know, you have to pay Sweaty Mike back. With interest, mind you. So that's essentially the, 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 the entire basis of the game here. Now, we have 15 and 30 days over here unlocked. You start off with 15, I already beat the 15 day scenario, so it opened up 30 for me. So I guess it just somehow makes it easier, or you just kind of hang out longer, because when you have 15 days to pay back Sweaty Mike with the interest, mind you, you are... You have to sell stuff faster. When you have 30 days and further, I guess it just becomes easier, but I don't know. Essentially, the game is gonna chart. um, I'll go with 15, mind you. The game does work out at a bit of a high score type of system, like there is a leaderboard, so... There is a, a leaderboard for the amount of money you made, the amount of people you killed, the amount of people you didn't kill, the amount of drugs you held at one point, etc, etc. So there's a lot of replayability, there's also a lot of different endings as well, so... Anyway, let's get into this. That asshole Preston called ahead, saying something about you needing a loan. Sweaty Mike eyes you cautiously. I know you probably heard about my policies on this kind of thing, and seeing as how I don't know you, we can... We can do an introductory 2Gs with a 50-day interest. That cool? Alrighty. Um, you pause for a second, not really sure how to proceed. Uh, Alright, so we have three options here. Sure, bro. Sounds good to me, man. <laughs> as long as the terms are responsible, are reasonable, sir. Listen to this guy. Why is he so respectful over here when he's trying to sell drugs? Um, how about we go with the last one? I like that. Just be like this, like, you know, really down or earth, you know, sophisticated guy that just happens to sell drugs because, you know, somewhere in life things went really bad for him. Let's go with that one. A little bit of respect, smart man. He gives you an approving nod. You have two weeks to give me back that money, and trust me, you don't want to miss that deadline. Now get the fuck out of here. You nod, then head out to make your fortune. Okay. And here we go. So we are currently at... Let's find out here. We are currently at Garville. Garville. Vile. It's not Vile, Falcon. It's two L's. Garville. We're at Garville. Uh, here is where we have to pay this guy, and we are here. Indicated by, you are here. Now, apparently, I could come over here and start buying drugs off of who knows who. But I could buy these drugs, and then I could just go ahead and go to another territory and sell them there for a profit. So, essentially, that's all you're trying to do. And then you could also interact with different type of events that'll happen, but we'll get into that here pretty soon. Um, at the moment, we have $2,000. PCP sell, um, is being sold at $19.92. Opium is $11.55. Ketamine at $17.43. Bat cells are at 318, speed is at 204. Honestly, there's really not much I could really want to buy in bulk other than maybe either speed or bat salts. Um, so, uh, let me get a bit of speed, I guess. Um, we'll get like three. Is that good? Let me just get two. The problem is you have to find a way, a place that actually is buying it and is also buying it for a profit. And sometimes that takes a while. Sometimes it's all about sheer luck alone. So, I'll buy two for now. 
And then bad salts. I feel like bad salts is a really high price for them because they normally don't sell for too high. Of course, the prices will be RNG based. It does seem, and it always fluctuates based on the on the area that you're at. So I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on the bad salts. Maybe I'm gonna hold off on them. All right, cool. So I'm just gonna buy. You know what? Let me just get another bit of speed then. Let me get one more. All right, so we have three ounces packs. Who knows of speed over here? Now, you guys remi remind me, I bought these at 204, so do not sell for anything less than 204. Now, let's go over to the metro and let's go ahead and take our bus or train somewhere and try to sell some drugs here. Let's go down to Crockford. Oh my god, look at this shady individual here. The old lady pulls out a weird looking vaporizer and takes three big grips off of it while looking out the windows. She finally looks over to you and offers it. You like getting wet? Oh no, no. You know what? I've, I've seen Training Day, ma'am. I, I saw what happened to Ethan Hawke's character in Training Day when he got wet. I don't want that happening to me. You wave your, ha you wave your hat, I guess I should say hand, in refusal of her offer and move over three seats. Good idea, dog. Next stop, Crockford. Okay. So here we are at Crockford. Um, bat salts are being sold at 2.99. We were they were selling at 3.18 in the last location, so it's probably a good thing that we hold off on that. Loots are early at 30 here, and ecstasy's at 106. So what if we buy like maybe I don't know four loots? 120 for four of them sounds pretty good. And ecstasy, let me go ahead and get like um, maybe two ecstasy. Okay, let's see what we have here. Two ecstasy, four loots, and three speed. We have no police heat at the moment. We have to pay 2,513 2, days, and the only weapon we have at the moment is our fist. We could buy weapons, mind you, and also hire a party to back us up in combat. Uh, we'll try to get to that here pretty soon. So in Crockford, let's see if there's any events here. No. So no events. If you click on the little, uh, I guess, GPS marker here when you're at a location, it'll give you like a special event, assuming there's anything to be done there. So for now, let's go over to Shore. What do you do all day? Just ride the same fucking bus or what? Did you know that DJ Fragile X's new CD just dropped? She hands you a grimy leaflet with the announcement on it. Oh shit, you exclaim as you look at the flyer. I gotta go download that action. Next stop, sure. Alright. Alright, so speed over here is at 243. You know what? We have speed. We bought it at 204, right? So this would be a little bit of uh, a profit for us. Not much, but it's something. So you know what? Let's go into three and sell. Okay, now what else do we have available? We also have the Ecstasy and the Ludes. Ecstasy is being sold here, it is, but you know what? We bought Ecstasy for a hundred and something, so I shouldn't sell it here. And I don't buy any Ludes. Now, anything else I want to buy here myself? I mean, since Ecstasy is cheaper here than where I bought it, let me get at least, like, three more. Okay. And that is about it here. Let me see if there's any special events. Oh, here we go. Welcome to St. Jace's... St. Jesus Memorial Hospital. The nurse says in a monotone voice when I'm looking up from her phone. After an uncomfortable pause, she finally glances at you and says, what do you need? You look around the lobby, then back at the nurse and sigh. So here is where you come and actually restore your HP whenever you get into fights and um, any other sort of combat that hurts you. You come over here and you pay to get some medical treatment. Luckily for us, we don't need it, so we're fine. You could also go ahead and attack this woman right now and fight her. And this leads to you stealing stuff from people, assuming they're not also properly guarded as well. And you know what, since I only have fists here, I feel like this woman's gonna kick my ass, so... I wanna attack her, so let's just leave for now, but that's what this is for. Let me go ahead and say I'm fine. And let's go over to Murphy's Lake now. This woman, all she does is ride the fucking train all day, or the bus. Move a little closer, she whispers creepily. Closer? You say nothing but calmly move a few seats away. <laughs> Next stop, Murphy's Lake! Oh no, the cops! It's the fucking pigs! Whoop! Whoop! It's the sound of the police! Whoop! Whoop! That's the sound of the beast! Okay, we gotta run. Surprise, motherfucker! You whip around to see a cop appear at the seemingly nowhere. You're under arrest! Turn around and put your hands on your top of your head. No, sir, pig! Oh, shit, you exclaim. So you could essentially give up here, and that would be one ending, mind you. You don't ever want to give up to the cops, though. You could fight him. You could go ahead and... You know, just give in. Or you could try to run away. We're gonna try, obviously, try to run away. Try to keep up, asshole! Run out of here! Oh no, you don't! He screams and goes for his shoulder radio thing. Officer in pursuit, requesting backup. You speed off at first, then trip up and fall into the ground. The officer easily catches up and draws his weapon. Fuck! Combat begins. Oh, we're fucked, guys. So, this is all RNG based, mind you. So, um, I have never been in a situation where I try to run and I s 
fall and get caught into combat. I normally have always been able to run away from the cops easily. So, a fiendish opponent approaches and gets the jump on you. Officer Harding takes a step back and prepares for your next attack. Defensive maneuver. Didn't see that coming. So he's taking a defensive maneuver now. I'm going to see if I can run away, though. You make like you're about to attack something fierce, but turn around and suddenly run like a bitch. Amazingly enough, you manage to escape the fight. Oh, we got out of here. Thank God. Um, you know what? We got to go to Hillside. Remember that time you had the crabs? Oh. She smiles and raises her eyebrows. And the only thing that made it feel better was this cream. She pulls out a tube of what looks like a combination of peanut butter and dog vomit. You scratch her crotch a little bit and smile at her back. Next stop, Hillside. Oh my god, fucking... What do you want, pigs? Is this like, um, this reminds me of, um, Homeboy from Dexter. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> I love that guy. Um, let's see if we can run away again. So we're running, and we actually got away this time. Great. Um, so let's see, anything we could sell here? Loots? No, we bought loots at 30, so this is not a good place to sell it. And everything else over here we cannot either afford or have anything to sell. And here is your weapon shop, in case you were wondering. Hey there, welcome to Pinky's Gun Emporium, he says with a big old smile. What can I do for you? Hello yourself, you respond with an equally sized smile. So, if I wanted to, I could come over here and start buying some weapons. Obviously, with only $1,500, not much I could buy. I could buy a revolver. It does 5 to 10 damage points, um, one inventory space it takes up. Pistol does 10 to 20, two inventory spaces, but it costs 2,500. Obviously, we cannot buy any of these. We are broke as fuck right now. But if you want to survive, especially against stronger enemies, you're going to definitely want to come over here at some point and buy yourself a gun. Uh, I bought a grenade launcher off camera. I was able to make like $600,000 off of like just trading stuff back and forth. And I went over back to Sweaty Mike and I just disintegrated his ass with a grenade launcher. It was actually pretty badass. And that was a good ending because um, I didn't have to pay Sweaty Mike back. I just killed him. There you go. Um, so we can't afford anything right now at the moment, so that's unfortunate. Can we at least get on out of here and then? Hillside. Oh, come on, dog. He got away. Fucking cops, man. Let's go over to Boral Station. I think this is where I want to be. Did you know that the CIA provides all the hard drugs in town? She says very matter-of-factly. Who doesn't know that? You scoff and turn away from her. That's like some tinfoil shit action right there, man. Uh, speed, 234. Um, do we have any... I think we sold over speed if I'm right. Yeah, we sold over speed already. Um, I mean, we're going to start ramping it up here pretty soon because there's a lot more to do, but... It's also very RNG-based. Among suicidal alcoholics, I'm a gem. She laughs out loud and stops suddenly and gets a weird look on her face. I could see that. I know a lot of them. Plus, we're having no good luck with these police RNGs here. I wanted to show you where you could actually recruit people. Oh, we got combat, so we tripped again. Can I run away? Nope. He attacked me. I took 19 points of damage right here. Let's see if I can run away now. Nope. We got away. I just want to show you the place we could recruit people to your party here, so... Um... Please, cop is not here anymore? No, we just went back. Downtown is where I'm trying to get to. Oh, this isn't it. This is the bank. Over here, you can actually deposit and withdraw money. So I guess if you... There's events that you'll probably get mugged. So you want to save money in the bank. So whenever you get mugged in the street, you know, lose all your money as well. Uh, I'm fine, though. Let's go to Alpheus Park. This might be the place we could... Yeah. Over here is where you recruit people to your little um, gang, I guess. So if I had the money for it... I'm looking for some muscle, and over here you could hire people to help you out in combat. Very much like a regular RPG party, I know. Very crazy. Um, this guy has 90 HP. He does 23 to 83 damage with a host pipe. It costs you $9,200 to recruit him. So obviously right now we are just flat broke. We can't afford anything. There's a bit of a grind involved with this game for sure, but you also have a deadline where you have to pay so you might get so-and-so days. If you skip the deadline, Whenever you go back to him, you have to basically kill him because he's going to fight you. So there is that. But that is a dope game. I wanted to show it off to you. There is a lot to do, a lot of random events that happen, but it's kind of really RNG based. So it's not too convenient for a Falcon one shot because I'm not sure what's going to happen whenever. But I did want to show it off to you. Interesting game for sure. I'm not entirely sure about the pricing on it, but information for it will be in the description below. Uh, if you want to follow it on Steam, um, go right on ahead. I will catch you next time, son!